to lighten up the mood a little bit, Trip, we got to ask you because we know you are the president of the LeBron James fan club. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody is willing to take a bullet for LeBron more than you are. So what that's, were your thoughts after uh, their first game yeah. against the Clippers where he, he didn't have his greatest game. He tried to facilitate more than anything. Yeah, I think um, he was doing a little too much of trying to get Anthony Davis going and involved because there was a lot of times where he would kind of just dump it to Anthony mm -hmm. Davis and just kind of stand back out of the out of the play, so yeah. to speak. So I, I think that moving forward, he's going to still have to be LeBron. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and, and being LeBron, you know, you got to still put up your shots and get everything moving and then open up everything for Anthony Davis because he'll get comfortable mm -hmm. once, the, once the double team is coming at you because if LeBron put up, let's say, 10 points in the first quarter, they double on LeBron after that for the, for the rest of the game and that's going to open up Anthony Davis so then he'll be fine. He'll get what he needs and then, on, you know, Anthony Davis is, I mean, there's not too many guys in, in, in the NBA that can stop Anthony Davis one-on-one mm -hmm. -on -one in the paint or, or, or on the block or whatever. So I think they'll be fine moving forward. They just got to work the kinks out. Um, you know, Rondo's back playing tonight. Kuzma will be back soon. They'll be fine. Yeah, he definitely struggled offensively or altered his game 100%. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. He, was, he, was, he was trying to play the point guard, point guard role a little too much mm -hmm. yeah. and get everyone else involved. I agree. I think they're going to be okay. But the roster is really flawed. And I never liked it when they put it together and they kind of waited to see what Kawhi was going to do. Yeah. Um, because there were some lineups that they had out there with guys that shouldn't really get more than five minutes playing time. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Troy Daniels out there playing almost 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Quinn Cook playing 20 minutes. At one time, they had Dwight and Anthony Davis on the floor together. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah, they had some really bad lineups. I don't know if that's just Frank Vogel trying, trying to figure to it out. out. Yeah. But it looked bad. Yeah. I, I mean, thought it really looked bad at times. And, I don't and think it, a game against the Clippers is a time where you try things out. Well, I, I just think in general, they look like they didn't have an understanding of what they wanted to do on offense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, as you mentioned, they would dump it down to Anthony Davis and then it's a bunch of guys standing around like, what do we do now? Yeah. Yep. And if you're playing the Lakers, obviously you don't want LeBron to beat you. You don't want Anthony Davis to beat you. But if you're telling me the guys you're putting on the floor with them are Troy Daniels and Quinn Cook, mm -hmm. I'm going to let them guys shoot all day. I, yeah. I'll live and die with that. Yeah. And so they've got to figure it out a little bit. Danny Green had a good game for them. Did. Yes, they get, the right, mm -hmm. they get Rondo back. And when they get Kuzma back, it adds a little bit more to them. But I just don't like these other pieces. Yeah. And I, I don't know how they're going to figure that part of well, it out. Well, that's the other thing, too, because if you, if you think about it, right, uh, Rondo and Kuzma. Kuzma is a, is a starter. So, you know, the lineups that they are going to have moving forward are going to be different mm -hmm. from the lineups that they had on yeah. the floor. Absolutely. Absolutely. But you won't close games with Rondo. No, mm -hmm. you, you won't. Right. So that's, that still leads back to who's your guards on the floor late in games. Because, yeah, we know uh, Danny Green will be out there. We know LeBron. We know yeah. uh, AD, obviously. But then who's the other guys that you're trusting in the last six or seven minutes of a game who can knock down a shot? Because it's not going to yeah. be Rondo. No. Right? And then if you already have AD and LeBron on the floor, Kuzma probably becomes the odd man out. He can't guard on the perimeter. Yeah. So they don't have the pieces out there, I think, to hang with the heavyweights well, Jamal of the West. Crawford, you know, he shouted them out. He says, you know, he's, he's available. <laughs> they want to get another shoot up in there. Uh, and then uh, you always got Melo, um, even though uh, Steve, oh, here we Steve, go. Steve here Jackson we... did say that there was a... Uh, Rashida Armstrong, you made these drinks. You see that? So we having this conversation don't, again? Yeah, don't sign a, a Melo, so I don't know if that... If that's that's gonna, nonsense, uh, bro. This is Deontay the Bronze, but Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Come on, Bye, the camp. Uh-huh. This is Hi, Real yeah. Fans, Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real 